What's up, Colby Sharp, fifth grade teacher in Michigan. Welcome to my channel where we try to help kids fall in love with reading. And one of the best ways to help kids fall in love with reading is through amazing books written for them. And I have stopped creating like longer form videos, reviews of like book talks about a single title and kind of move those into like Instagram and TikTok and YouTube shorts. But then I read Christina Diaz Gonzalez's The Blue Sky and I'm like, I just want to like ramble on for a couple minutes about this book because it just really left an impact on me and it really just kind of like wrecked me and then it kind of put me back together and then I fell apart again and I don't know where I'm at because that's just what books do to you sometimes and this is book did that to me story of Hector growing up in Cuba in the 1980s and you ever read something and then you're like wow I don't know anything I don't know anything about this world you think you know things you think you have an idea of different topics and then you read a book and you get you get your you're put in the shoes of someone growing up during that time and you're like oh my gosh I had no idea holy smokes and I just kept finding having so many moments in this book and Christina does this thing at the beginning of the book where she just makes you fall so stinking hard for these three kids like hard and they seem so real and so true and so human and they're growing up in Cuba in the 1980s, which is very different than me growing up in Michigan in the 1980s. But they just seem like just kids, like trying to live their best life. And then you start to like the layers kind of start to get peeled back of like what's going on in Cuba. And like Hector doesn't really get it, but like you're getting it as a reader. And it, and then like they have to like try to get away out, out of Cuba because it's awful. And Hector like doesn't understand that like his mother does. And then like you're and then like this awful, awful, awful heart ripping thing happens in this book. And you just don't think that you can keep reading it, but you like have to, like you can't stop reading it. But your heart is just like in like a puddle of heart tears. I don't know if that's a thing, uh, but then like she somehow finds a way to just like speed up the pace and like then you like just can't stop reading and all the while your like heart is broken but like it's kind of being put back together but at the same time you just gotta know what's gonna happen you just have to know and that's how I felt reading this book I felt hard for this one the bluest sky and I just want you to read it and I want you to put it in the hands of kids or book talk it to kids so that they can have a chance to read it. Um, and then like the last, like, I don't know, 75 pages. I don't know how she did it. And then there's this part where everything looks so like it's just not going to happen. And then what does happen? You just like jaw. It's like on the ground. And then the ending... You need to read this book so we can talk about it more. It's so beautiful. It's beautiful. Blue Sky by Christina Diaz Gonzalez. Check it out. It's phenomenal. It's on my list of best books of 2022, which I'll put down in the description below if you want to check out that list because this book belongs on there. It's phenomenal. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Colby Sharp. I hope you have an awesome, fantastic day.